welcome back to another EDH Deck Tech. My name is Scott, and I've got an exciting one for you today. Uh, so this is my Burakos Party Leader Deck. Um, interesting one. This one I really wanted to brew around when it was um, previewed for Baldur's Gate. Uh, two things love the art and the second i really wanted to explore what party was like in mono black i know party um you know is a good color for white uh, but i really wanted to see what does party mean in a mono black deck uh so i was quite excited with this one um so you know it counts for all types so for party is essentially a changeling for party uh and it's going to create treasures when it attacks seems pretty good um it is only a 2-4 so it's attacking doesn't seem that great um so i was a bit hesitant i was like okay how does this work um you know how do we make this mono black there wasn't particularly many good uh, mono black backgrounds until they previewed haunted one so to pair with this, I've gone with Haunted One. Uh, it really does everything that Burakos wants to do. Uh, so Burakos wants to be attacking, right? And okay, your opponent's gonna lose some life, uh, but really we're trying to get that treasure. So we want to attack, but then, okay, do I need to build Voltron or something like that to kind of keep it protected? No, instead we'll go with the background and we'll just give it undying. All right, so our creatures, are just going to have die undying so uh creatures uh, tapped if they share a type so burkos is every one of the party types um so i've built the deck pretty much it only has party members in it um so they're all going to get entire undying to under turn so really really great for an attacking deck uh it's a bit of an interesting one because party probably is not the biggest attacking uh strategy uh, but with this one, it's, it's added that kind of extra um, element and fun uh, to the deck uh, with your party. You know, they are not necessarily synergistic with each other. Um, you just have good value party members um, and then, you know, start swinging out with them. So we'll go through the deck with that in mind. So first up, clerics. So I kind of kept the deck building. So I wanted uh, seven of each. I wanted to kind of have an even number of each uh, party member type. Um, so we'll start off with clerics. Disciple of Vault, nice cheap one. Uh, so artifacts will be going to the graveyard for your opponents. That's great. But our treasures will also be going to the graveyard. So also doubly great. So I found Disciple of the Vault nice. It adds a little bit more reach on top of Burakos. No Priest of Oblivion. Just a simple cleric can come down cheap if um, you know we want to play it before Burakos. So that when Burakos does attack, um, we can swing out and actually start getting those treasures. Or it's good in the late game as well. So nice little reanimation. Liliana, Heretical Healer. Um, if you know anything about me, uh, this is a pet card of mine. I absolutely love this card. Uh, I love my deck of this card. I own multiple copies of this card. Um, so, you know, it being a cleric, uh, it is a Planeswalker on the other side, which is really, really nice. So just a, a bit of extra... Um, you know flexibility uh kind of hitting things at a different range uh, creatures will be dying because of undying um and this then can return um a creature or you know starts discarding or that um the ultimate is definitely a win condition um but hard to get to in this deck uh, but nice solid creature uh and is also a cleric so that's great so it's three clerics uh twilight prophet um ascendant uh, ascend is an easy mechanic to uh, hit with commander so really great uh, just a bit of card draw very very nice Yorgmoth, uh one of the, probably one of the best clerics there are uh, great for sacrificing uh, it also gives the negative one counter where undying gives a plus one counter so this will give the negative one counter to um, counteract that so that uh, you know they're undying they'll come back again so really really great uh, the proliferate not really a, a thing in this deck um, you know I don't really want to be proliferating plus ones or negative ones so um, yeah really it's it's to counteract that undying and also a great card, card draw. So I'm doing guide. So this was in the pre-con uh, that Burkos came into. Just really, really nice. Just a bit of recursion um, for your party members. Um, so great. We, we don't have a lot of that 
uh, in the deck a little bit, but not too much. Uh, so this is quite nice. Give it a bit of unearth uh, to bring them back for Burkos when he does attack. Uh, Mikhail is the unhollowed. So just a bit of redundancy. Uh, I it's you know a really powerful cleric itself. Um, maybe we can't. Maybe haunted ones being removed. It's getting too expensive at five mana. You know having that um, undying. Uh, we don't play a lot of humans in this deck, so um, it's going to give that uh, bonus as well. So just a generically great uh, cleric. So that kind of hits the top end for rogues. Uh, so Rogues, Rankle Master of Pranks, one of my favorites. Um, it will come down. Uh, it's haste as well, so it's going to be swinging out with Burakos uh, and, you know, flying. So it does usually hit somebody, uh, and you're going to get those, uh, um, those triggers. Discard, great. Draw a card, great. Uh, second round creatures, great. Grim Hiling, another one. So we want to be attacking quite a lot. Uh, so really, really great. We're going to get those treasure synergies. Another one. Um, and we will have some leftover treasures. So having that removal is quite nice as well. But, you know, we want to be swinging out as much as possible. Gonti, Lord of Luxury, just a generically good rogue. Uh, Death Touch, so helps with a bit of, uh, of the defense because we want to be swinging out. So people might want to swing back at us. Um, so, and just get to, you know, play with people's um, decks. Really, really nice. Just solid card. Uh, Body Londra. So non-token creatures that we control will be dying. You know, we want to be attacking. Um, and so when this dies, we can get some of that recursion back equal to its connive. So really, really nice. Oh, sorry, not its connive, it's uh, power. That gets increased by connive. Uh, Morbid Opportunist, uh, just a simple rogue. Uh, great for card draw. Creatures will be dying all the time. Um, you know, very, very good. Uh, Doughty Voidwalker, another just great solid rogue. Um, so a bit of graveyard hate, and it can also um, get people's uh, spells, which is really, really nice. And then Bitter Blossom, uh, not a creature, but it is creating uh, fairy rogues. So each turn, um, which is really, really nice, so that we don't really have to worry about the rogue type anymore um, when we've got this on the battlefield. Okay, Warriors. Uh, Warriors was definitely the hardest um, group to at least try to get um, seven members of. Um, so you really have to dig deep in the pool. So Butcher Malakir, solid, a bit expensive uh, in mana value wise, uh, but our creatures will be dying. People will not want to then be blocking them because their creatures are then gonna start dying. So quite nice. Nadir, Agent of Dus uh, Duskanel. Another interesting one is a warrior. Um, so tokens leaving the battlefield, so that includes your treasures. It's going to get uh, plus one, plus one. And then you're going to get um, some elf warriors. Uh, so again, kind of helping uh, facilitate the warrior type uh, and then continue on with the warriors. So if you've got this down, um, you don't really have to worry about warriors too much. Clear's trade of get, very, very solid. Graveyard hate, we're getting zombies, we're sacrificing creatures. Um, you know, what more can you ask for? A, bit, a little bit of lifelink as well. Tenacious Underdog, interesting warrior. Actually, it's one of the better warriors. I really like this one. Um, you can cast it from the graveyard with its blitz, so it's going to die and draw a card, but then it's going to have untying. Um, so yeah, just really, really nice, really solid. Um, you get that, you know, it replaces itself. Reassembly Skull, another cheap one, just to get that warrior down, start getting those treasures. Uh, and then Mind Blade Render. Um, interesting one. So uh, when an opponent is dealt damage, if at least a warrior did it, you get a card and you lose a life. So uh, there are some changelings, as well as Burakos counts as a warrior, as well as, you know, whatever, if I do have a warrior. Um, so if any of that damage was dealt by warrior, it's going to replace that card, which is quite nice. And it's cheap, you know, it's only two mana. Uh, and then Blood Soak Champion. We want to be attacking... So this coming back is going to be fine. All right, Wizards. So Wizards Wizards was a pretty easy one. Um, lots of solid Wizards. Uh, so Puppeteer Click. Uh, so this one has Persist. So it has a negative one counter when it comes back. Undying will give it a plus one counter. So you can, you know, um, start uh, swapping those two around uh, so that, uh, you know, it's just going to keep coming back. 
uh, and you're going to keep getting things out of people's graveyards. So really, really nice, solid value. Makers of the Coffees, just for a bit of ramp as well. Um, so this also, also hits on that ramp um, section, playing a lot of swamps. Uh, it's a nice wizard. Ruthless Technomancer. Uh, so sacrificing so that we can get start getting some undying we're going to get treasures we can also use this to return creatures uh, with that treasure as well uh, so really really nice so you've got some of those party members that have uh, treasure synergies grim horror specs uh, non token creatures will be dying um, so we will be drawing a card uh, so really really nice king jewelers uh, jewelers I really like this card. I've been loving it more and more. Just super cheap, two mana, um, a bit of fun. You know, you're gonna get a card, your opponent's gonna card, you're gonna start hitting them. Reach is really important in this deck, so I really like valued some of these kind of effects where I get a chance to kind of hit people's life totals. That isn't my commander. Um, so really, really nice for card draw. Dark Confidant, great wizard. Um, now our mana value is relatively, you know, average. Um, so sometimes you might get hit by it. There is a few life um, gain effects in here to kind of help mitigate. Uh, but this can be, um, you know, bad sometimes. But uh, that's the best part of Dark Confidant. Uh, then for serious here, just a stack outlet. Great with Undying, um, so that our things come back uh, just really, really nice and help go through our deck. Okay, some Changelings. So I have seven of every type, uh, and then I have some Changelings as well, just to help um, mitigate any that I'm not drawing. Uh, so Changeling Outcast, super cheap. It's just here just to be a body for one of the types that I don't have. Um, it's really, really great. Universal Automaton. Essentially the same thing, just to be a one mana, get it on the board to be one of our types. Grave Shifter, uh, interesting one. It's a little bit more expensive, but uh, it does return something from our hand. So a bit of that recursion because we're attacking with our creatures. They're hitting the graveyard. We want to kind of get them back. You know, they're going to be undying, but then they will eventually die. So, you know, it's quite nice. Uh, and then Master with Nexus, just as a kind of caveat of just in case I'm not pulling the right uh, party members, you know, we're going to be safe. It's going to create shape shifters as well, which is nice. I haven't really done a lot of that. I find that, you know, I've got a, enough of a mix that I'm likely to hit a lot of them, uh, but this one does help with uh, making sure that those creatures in my hand uh, are going to be the types that I want. Okay, so that's... Uh, all the party types uh, and uh, any changes. Um, so Thwart the Grave. Thwart the Grave, absolutely busted card in a party deck. The only problem is party, I guess, you're not returning that powerful of a creatures. They're just all generically good mid-range style creatures. Uh, but two, I've, essentially, you're going to be wanting to play this as two mana, uh, two mana spell going to return two creatures one of them being a cleric rogue warrior wizard and the other one being whatever but all my creatures are those types so yeah so essentially returning two creatures so a nice little recursion you'll get that discount coveted prize uh you know better than demonic tutor in this deck uh you're going to hopefully reduce it by four um and then you know tutor for that card uh and then put if it's four or less you can put it on the battlefield um some askwood nexus is a really nice one for this um i also have um uh what is it um manufacturer what is it called academy manufacturer uh in here as well that one's also a nice one um so you know there are some nice hits that you might want to go for um but uh yeah quite nice um so cauldron of souls this is just like an interesting one. So to give our party persists. So when they have undying, they persist. You know, you got your negative one and then your plus one. So they're going to counter out. Um, so, you know, you're going to want to tag team between those two. So it's really, really nice um, to kind of keep our creatures coming back, coming back constantly, right? So then we just don't care. Uh, unfortunately, with um, a coveted prize, you know, this is four and under. So this one just doesn't hit. Else this would be, you know, the best card in the deck. Uh, and I would tutor for this 100 bit. Uh, but yeah, that one's a really good one. Uh, Ag Agadine's Awakening, uh, it's a land that we can shock in. Uh, but uh, it, there is a bit of recursion. And we are playing 
uh, creatures kind of across the mana uh, curve so it's it's quite nice you know if, if we can pump some of our treasures in you know we've lost a lot of creatures to undying or a board wipe or something like that we can pump some of our treasures into it which is nice uh, and the Malachi rebirth uh an additional kind of okay it has undying it's already got the plus one it's going to die let's bring it back uh and it's a land on the outside and then academy manufacturer so when we create treasures when we create clues and foods just heaps and heaps of value um so this one's really really nice um it's really great to kind of get this on early and then the wind condition marionette master uh so fabricate three essentially we're going to put plus one plus ones which is unfortunate because you know i'm dying but uh when artifacts go to the graveyard um you know our opponent's gonna lose life equal to its power so its power is going to be four um so every time we crack a treasure you know they're going to be losing four which is really really good uh it is target player but uh eventually you're going to get around the board okay uh so i mean um i'm pretty sure like these are the only creatures that are not um party members um so you know but they are very good okay some card draw so the deck is kind of built around party so i have tried to include uh party members that draw cards party members that ramp things like that uh, because that is a big chunk of our deck so we've got small packages for ramp removal things like that uh so skull clamp fantastic uh creatures will be dying uh, so very very nice uh, great with bit of awesome uh, Knight's Vision uh, sorry Knight's Whisper um, just simple draw two lose two sign of blood draw two lose two great uh, Black Market Connections uh, so this one did come in the pre-con uh, I really have been enjoying this card it's been fantastic um, creating that treasure again we have treasure synergies, synergies uh, drawing a card great we want to do that and this one does create a shapeshifter it is still a lot of life, um, but I think in this deck, I have created more shapeshifters than in other decks. Um, just to, I want that, um, you know, that change lead. So really, really nice. Uh, for Xtreme Arena, just simple card draw. Read the Bones, another one where we get to just scry, which is nice, fix our draws. Okay, ramp, uh, so simple, dark ritual. It's very, very nice. Uh, it's not really a kind of like first turn dark ritual kind of deck. We need a bit of setup before we can get Burkos down. So normally it's a play, you know, our creatures, then play Haunted One, then play Burkos or Burkos, then Haunted One next turn, that kind of deck. Uh, Soul Ring, you know, great ramp. Uh, Arcane Signet, another nice cheap ramp. Again, those two mana, mana rocks, Felwas Stone, uh, you know, someone's gonna have black. Uh, Jet Medallion, lots of black pips, lots of like colorless and black, uh, which is nice. Uh, Mind Stone, it can help us redraw later on. Thought Vessel, the maximum hand size is not too important, but um, it's nice and cheap. Crypt Gas, playing a lot of swamps. The Extort's very, very nice. Um, we have, sometimes we have a lot of treasure just kind of sitting around and we can have something to crack it. Uh, Extort has been really good. Uh, Nakata Revenant, just doubling our swamps. All right, removal, Kun's Cool. Uh, nice, easy, two for one. Um, you know, relatively cheap. Snuff out, you know, we're gonna be playing a swamp, so that's okay. Mutilate, um, you know, we are playing a lot of swamps i play this pretty much in all my mono black decks uh negative one negative one is really great for around indestructible uh hagra mauling a uh, very very bad murder but uh you know it is a land on the other side so i'm playing three mdfcs uh deadly relic we do want to be playing our commander so um great to just get that it will be free uh damnation just simple nice easy board wipe uh, and then Toxic Deluge also to get around Indestructible. So really, really nice. Uh, Soul Shatter, it's going to hit, it's, you know, three for one. Usually hits um, the best thing, so that's really, really nice. Uh, and then Feed the Swarm, great for enchantments. Um, or, you know, if we need to hit a creature, we can. Uh, and then uh, Defile, we're playing a lot of Swamps. Fantastic. So lands. Um, mostly pretty standard for me. Uh, but you bog graveyard height, fantastic. Cabal coffers playing a lot of swamps. Cabal stronghold playing a lot of basic swamps. So really, really nice for that ramp. 
um i have found that you know treasure really helps um and we don't need uh, a lot of i guess cabal coffer mana but it's still quite nice mutavolt mutavolt is the interesting one that i'm playing in here so mutavolt is each type uh of creature so it is an original changeling um and it's only one mana to activate so just really really nice just if we need to get that extra um changeling we can uh nick throws trying to nix um devotion's been okay in this like i said it's a lot of colorless and one or colorless and two um kind of uh decks so uh cards so uh but nick is still strong rogues passage we do want to be swinging out with our commander command is probably the one that we don't want to lose obviously um so making it unblockable is quite nice uh she's a death storehouse giving it uh fear is also quite nice um essentially almost making it unblockable depending on your opponents uh strip mind i do always play a land destruction land at least in my deck if i wish i could play more um so you know somebody's got their own cabal coffers guys cradle field dead things like that uh you definitely want to be targeting those takanuma abandoned my i've been really enjoying this land um it just taps for black there's no there's no downside um but in the late game it can return one of those creatures that you've lost really really nice uh Urborg, tomb of yogmoth turn all those utility lands into swamps great for cabal coffers great for mutilate defile Crypt Gas, Nakata Remedy, you know, you get the synergy. Uh, and then Witch's Cottage, another one. Our creatures will be dying, uh, so it's great to put them on top if we need to. And then War Room, just to find, uh, finish it all out. Uh, just simple, three mana, lose a life, draw a card, uh, or four mana, tap it as well. Um, so just nice if we need, you know, I've got a lot of party members that can draw, but it's great to still just have them on our land uh, as well. And then um, a whole bunch of swamps. So, really, really nice. Um, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed this deck. I haven't built many aggressive uh, mono black decks. I would say that um, it's not really something that I thought mono black was was really good at doing um so i've had a lot of fun with this one just swinging out and just wanton chaos you know not really caring undying has been really powerful um it gets plus two plus o for each of those types so burikos gets actually quite large um i've yet to win through commander damage because it's not really that kind of deck but it is very threatening uh and undying uh you know I don't care if you trade it down, you know, you have to trade. Um, my creature's gonna come back, so uh, it's been quite nice. Uh, have really enjoyed it. I thought Mono Black Party uh, was gonna be a bad thing. Um, I remember thinking when it was previewed, it was just like, there's just no way there's decent enough party members for this to work. Uh, but I was surprised. I think Warrior probably needs a little bit of help. Um, but other than that, yeah, I was very surprised uh, and quite happy with it. So, yeah, a nice little like mid range attacky deck. Um, yeah, lots of fun. Um, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you later.